Hello and welcome to Empire of War Games. My name is Steve Pirsch and today we are going to talk and speculate about GW's release schedule when it comes to April. If you enjoyed the content, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing, as well as checking the links down in the description below if you want to support what I do. Alright, let's get into the video. So this video is a little bit later than I usually like to upload these because there are no rumors to go around and there's literally barely anything to speculate off of except for the Adepticon previews that we've seen and what we've seen this Sunday when it comes to what is going to be on pre-order next week. So let's talk a little bit about that and about what else to expect during April. So first up for next week for pre-order we are getting Arena of Shades which is basically Daughters of Cain versus Nighthorn and Nighthorn are getting a lot of new models which is cool. I was actually expecting this box to release a little bit later because you know Fury of the Deep or Fury from the Deep is not that old yet and we are already getting our second two player battle box for Age of Sigma which is good because you know Age of Sigma needs to ramp up their releases, so it's nice to see this sooner rather than later. Now, what this does mean, though, is that the Daughters of Cain and the Nighthound uh, Battle Tomes are not that far off. Obviously, the Ideneth Deepkin and the Fire Slayers Battle Tomes took a while to arrive, but I think it's not super unrealistic to expect these Battle Tomes to release at the end of April or maybe at the beginning of May. All right, so since we are on the topic of Age of Sigma already, let's stay a little bit and talk a little bit about what was shown during Adepticon and if that is going to release next month, because I strongly suspect mostly everything from Adepticon is going to release next month or in May at the latest, because they had the boxes in their hands, like some of them at least. And yeah, so I fully expect the terrain that we've seen, because that's an easy one to just, you know, release for GW and the book we've seen which at a second glance looks a little bit more interesting now that I know that you can build your own heroes uh, it helps for the um, path to glory campaign and it has rules for a couple of factions that is interesting as well so I fully expect the book to release together with the terrain next month I'm assuming during the middle or towards the end of the month but still and that is basically everything I have for Age of Sigmar but if we get the battle tomes and we are getting the two player battle box now and yeah we get the terrain and the book next month as well that that's technically fine that that should be enough for age of sigma for now but yeah i hope they they ramp it up a little bit next up we have warhammer 40k obviously next week you will be able to pre-order the battle zone nachmund and this one actually looks way more interesting than I thought. It actually looks cool. I was considering buying it, but I have so many models and my pile of shame is literally that huge. So I'm not going to buy it, but it looks very interesting. Um, if the prices are right, uh, this one seems to be cool terrain that is not ruins for once, but actually functional buildings, which is nice for once. Um, other than that, we have a lot of stuff that ha still has to release for Warhammer 40k. Obviously, first and foremost, we have Tyranids. Tyranids are definitely coming in April, like 100%. And um, for everyone who's expecting more Tyranid models, it's probably just going to be the one. It's probably just going to be the one model we've already seen, which is the um, Parasite of Mortrex, I think it was called. And that's going to be it for Tyranids. I know Tyranids have waited for quite a while to get new models and it's been what since 2014 i think people are mentioning but yeah i don't see uh, tyranids getting any more models to be honest it there was a slim chance that they get their termogans and hormogans updated that didn't happen as we've seen in the battle force and so that's going to be it so you can expect the battle force you can expect the parasite of mortrex and if you are for any particular reason interested in buying a turvigon or to start collecting for Tyranids, consider doing it now because that star collecting is not going to stay around forever. And if you wait too long, you're probably not going to get it. it happened to me with the Elder Star Collecting. So just a reminder, if you're interested in a Turvigon, because if you're interested in a Turvigon, you might as well just buy the start collecting or the start collecting in general, consider buying it now rather than later. 
other than that we obviously also have chaos knights and imperial knights i'm not sure if gw is going to be able to squeeze tyranids and knights into one month i think it's going to be kind of a shared thing that we are going to get tyranids imperial and chaos knights and chaos space marines between the beginning of april and the end of may i think that is a realistic expectation if they are going to manage to you know include tyranids and imperial knights and chaos knights in one month it's probably going to be next week is going to be announced the announcement for tyranids and the week after that or two it's going to be knights and chaos knights so we'll have to wait and see but those are probably going to release sometime around the end of april or the beginning of may would be my expectation and it, since we are on the topic already chaos space marines are probably going to be in the middle of may or towards the end of may and yeah uh, imperial guard is far off it's probably going to be the last codex to be completely honest um i'm not expecting it to release anytime soon it's probably going to be towards june july maybe a little bit later even uh, ideally in a two-player box set that would be cool with i don't know world eaters huh that would be sick but yeah other than that chaos demons are also missing so it could be imperial guard versus chaos demons but yeah i don't see chaos demons in imperial guard and world eaters the rumored world eaters codex to release uh, in april or may that's just not realistic to expect but june july towards august that seems more likely Next up, we had Warhammer the Horus Heresy, and I think it is realistic to expect that the Horus Heresy box sets that have been rumored and that we've seen pictures of are real, but I doubt they are going to release them in April. I think May or June or July seem a little bit more realistic. I think June or July seem even better because it's the same window as Dominion and Indomitus, and this is going to be the big box for this year, basically. The Horus Heresy box, the big one, which is rumored to cost uh, upwards of £200, which is a little bit scary. Um, it's going to be the big box of this year and it's going to release in the middle of summer. And I expect it to release towards the end of June. I think it's a realistic expectation here. Other than that, I don't see a lot, of for, a lot else for Horus Heresy releasing for now. I think they are focusing on their three big sets that are meant to entice new players to try the Horus Heresy or to just, you know, get people to buy Mark VI Space Marines and they are going to expand from there. And with that, I'm not sure if I covered everything. If I missed anything, feel free to comment and I will answer and give my opinion on anything I've missed. Um, other than that, yeah, I hope this was insightful. If you have anything to add, if you have any comments, if you have any opinions on anything I've talked about or anything I've missed, just drop it in the comments. I love to have a discussion down there. Um, other than that, yeah, consider supporting me on Patreon and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.